Ih, mitä täältä tapahtuu? Kaikki. Mä vihdoin viimein aloitan nyt Life is Strangerista pelisarjan. Ampli. Ottakaa hetki. Joo, kyllä se nauhoittaa. Kyllä se nauhoittaa. Ei vitsi, mä oon odottanut tätä päivää nyt pitkään. Ja vihdoinkin ja viimein. Niin tota... Klubilainen osti tää peli mulle syntterilahjaksi. Piti nimittäin ostaa tän itse, mutta en sitten pystynytkään ostamaan. Joten olen niin kiitollinen, että se osti mulle nämä kaikki viisi jaksoa tästä näin. Joten, ja sitten kaikista iloisin homma on se, että mä saan pelata tätä ohjaimella. Ja, <laughs> siis gonna be fun. Mä en tiedä tästä pelistä yhtään mitään. Mä en ole seurannut tätä mistään mitään juttuja, joten tästä, tästä tulee hauskaa. New game, please. Mua pelottaa. Apua, tää on taas tämmönen peli, joka <laughs> vaikuttaa. Mun teot vaikuttaa tähän, oh my god. Ei saa, ei saa, ei saa, ei saa. Valitettavasti se käy nyt niin. Anteeksi, mitä vittua, mitä vittua tässä tapahtuu tässä keivänä? Mitä vittua? So surreal. Talk, famously called film little little pieces of time, but he could be talking about photography, about photography as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I'd white. fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st Seriously, century. Though, I could frame but any one of I like it old school. And capture you in a moment of desperation. 
And any one of you could do that. Take a selfie. What on the selfie? Sorry, Isn't that too far. easy? Too obvious? <laughs> what if Arvis Cho? Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <laughs> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can no, you please I didn't. <laughs> tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? My favorite month. The best weather of the year. Mitä liikaa tekstiä? En mä jaksa tätä. I got access to the Blackwell Academy. En mä jaksa tätä lukea, sori nyt vaan. Mä tiedän, tässä on varmaan tosi paljon niin kuin... I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia, but I usually people to go to the high school close to... I suppose I'm to... I told myself not to whine or so or soon, but damn, the day started like a Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Dear God. Sorry, but Nikun. They're popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. You can find out all about him in your My textbook. little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Oh. <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kick... Yeah, just a moment. ...start a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody... Huh. This might make a cool shot. So, you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on this shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Ah, like, uh, I just I really that, think okay. Everyday Heroes is an important cultural so, event, so, so. and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. This is just a bump on a okay. bigger road. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just... Don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, 
But life won't wait for old. you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Yes. I see that. Tota. Eikö mä voisin vaan hetkinen katsoa tuota? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I think Victoria has already won the contest. As usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentary. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you. Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during class. Maybe that Oregon was going to be. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? He plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. I can't relate to this. To all of you, American girls. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. It looks like she's been gone for months. With shiny smiles and plastic buddies I wish I had My lovers! An American Girlfriend There's Juliet from my dorm Yet another Vortex Club disciple Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Can I use this? I cry sometimes walking around. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. 
but I kind of like that about him. She cries sometimes, talking about her own place, somewhere around the mountains. No one can try her fountain till she got tired to come play. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Mulle. Okay. Is this a girl? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. <laughs> What are you doing? Come on, put that light. thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Vita vittua! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. What? He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, can you give me an example oh, of a photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse there time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the... Can you give me I an actually did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller. Max, still the same Diane stupid Arvis. picture. So every keep it together, Max. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted. What is going on? Nothing has moved at all. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. <laughs> what if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can is I can't save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Uh, I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. No! Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Louis class. Was a French and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype... To... I must have missed something. I should rewind. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Oh, nee. Somebody has In been reading face. as well as posing. In nice your work, face. Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Hey guys, yes, don't forget I'm the afraid. deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Sorry, but yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. This week. Even if you're submitting your I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Come on, I have to save that girl. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Let me. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition every- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you. No, niin, nyt alkaa kuul koulu tuntuu vähän kiinnostavammalta. Vaikka siitä joutuu kuuntelemaan ne jokaiset lektorit niinku samaan aikaan. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. 
Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who Come you're on. messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Well, sorry, it's happening. I need trying. a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, oh holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. A more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't Thank you! Don't touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is Do going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Come Thank on! Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Thank Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Me. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating you're sweating pinballs? Not, you're Is freaking that all out. you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? I did something well, Max, right! Talk to me. No, 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 no. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. Uh, you sure? Yes. Dead. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Oh, sorry. Ma sorry, my man. Hmm. Say hi, Dolle. Sorry. Mä saan varmaan sitä paskaa niskaani aika lahjakkaasti. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Oh my god. Tota, jatketaan tätä ensi kerralla. Se oli sitten taas se jotenka. Ensi kertaan siis, se olisi sitten Marjetta.